We're standing in a booth right now where there's a video of cats trying to drag animals, small prey animals, into a home. And Tom Rosinski is going to tell us about their device that's going to keep those little critters from coming in the house. Hi there. Yeah, so I'm from OnlyCat. We've developed an AI cat flap. It's the world's most advanced uh, cat door that with microchip uh, capabilities, so only your cats can enter. You can choose curfews, um, choosing what, what day, what times they're allowed to enter. But it's also got a camera, to, so when the cat approaches, if it's trying to bring uh, prey or unwanted gifts into the house, it'll temporarily lock. That's amazing. So uh, let's back up a little bit. I didn't even know there were cat doors. I always thought there was only doggy doors. Yeah, so um, obviously it depends on w w what country and geographic locations. In some places, uh, cats tend to be indoors. In other places, so actually we're, we're a UK-based company. Uh, and so in the UK, especially, there's many outdoor cats. So they, they, And sometimes for m many customers, the prey deliveries can really become an incessant problem. Yeah, I, I do remember our cat back in Michigan doing that, bringing just a, a row of tails. <laughs> and that was nice. We really enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, we've got lots of different uh, uh, cases, and we've got, got a, at the moment just a, a few hundred devices uh, out in the, in, in the field, uh, but they're working extremely well. And so we're in the process of now uh, scaling up production to meet customer demand. And yeah, we've got cases of birds, mice, rats, snakes, voles, squirrels, lizards. If you're listening, you should be really glad because in the background we're watching, there's a cat trying to bring a live rat in, we saw some kind of creepy worm, there have been birds, all kinds of things, but the cat flat, the only cat is stopping the flap from opening when those uh, animals are there. How is it doing? Yeah, so it's we've got a camera that's built in, into, into the device. Can I turn this over? Yeah, absolutely. So Let's you see. can see here on the inside, we've got the camera and we've got infrared illumination, so we've got uh, good quality video footage even at night um, and yeah so faster than a blink of an eye the system detects analyzes each frame for the presence of prey and if it if if the cat's trying to bring something in it'll temporarily lock so how is it identifying something as prey and not a not a cat oh so it's using convo convolutional neural networks uh, so it's a, a image based classifier and ai based system thank you <laughs> Um, so it's actually looking to see what looks like a cat and what looks like a worm? Yeah, so we've essentially fed it lots of examples of what a cat uh, trying to carry prey looks like. And essentially the AI has fi then figures out ex in a, just extremely accurately, almost in a superhuman capability, to then de determine if the cat's trying to bring something that it shouldn't, shouldn't be and then yeah, lock. I like that uh, right now there's a cat bringing in a bird and it says contraband detected. <laughs> yeah. That's... Oh, and that was just like a frog. This is a gruesome video to have on, <laughs> got to tell you. But it'd be even more gruesome. Oh, there's a lizard. It'd be even more gruesome if that lizard was in the house, right? Exactly. So for, for many cat owners, when the cat brings in mice, sometimes it, it doesn't like eating the stomachs because they're full of acid. So they'll kind of just dissect the mice and then leave them on carpets or eat them under the bed. Or, or maybe leave. they're still alive. Yeah. So that's, that can also be a big problem, having a, a rat that's then just let loose, sometimes half dead or, or alive and being late to work, having to spend two hours trying to chase down a an animal. You and also talked about uh, people who are immunocompromised. That could be dangerous to bring them into the house, right? Absolutely, yeah. We've got some, some customers who are undergoing chemotherapy, are immunocompromised. And so it's a big problem where they essentially before we release the device, they're saying, well, if we can't solve this problem, we'll have to get rid of the cats. Unfortunately, as much as it pains us to say that, but um, other cases where uh, people starting a family and, and uh, then just finding a dead rat in a baby's cot. Oh, jeez. Oh. So I'm going to stop talking to you soon, Tom. <laughs> Between the video and your examples, this is horrible. So uh, what about, uh, how is this installed into the, into the home? 
So it's just a drop-in upgrade for customers who already have a, a cat door. Alternatively, it's a relatively simple installation. It can be installed in glass, in windows, or walls. So we've got instructions uh, depending on different use cases. Very good. So this is called Only Cat, which is a perfect name because you only want a cat to come in. Now, you said you're not yet in production. Is that correct? We are in production. Yeah. Um, so what's the price point on this? So it's around $500 or half price with a $10 per month sub subscription. That's an interesting way to do it, pay once or pay a subscription. Um, and the website is? www.onlycat.com. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it.